Hi, my name is Mike Foti. I'm host of Innovate Building Insights, and thanks for joining me today. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is something that might be a little bit quiet is it's five things nobody tells you about shower and tub wall panels. Now, you may ask, why does nobody tell you? Well, for the building manufa material manufacturers, it's not in their best interest to tell you because they want you to use their system and theirs only. And then for the remodelers, some of these points, they don't want to tell you because they want you to have it professionally installed, even if it doesn't really fit for you. So the first myth I want to share with you is everything needs to be professionally installed. That's a pile of crap. Reality is there's some systems that are simple. Um, this one here is a PVC composite. It's a quarter inch thick. Then they come in sheets, either 36 by 80, 36, 96, 60 by 80, 60 by 96. They literally get glued up on this wall. And then if you have any cutting to do, we usually recommend the cuts go to the outside edge. So even if you have a jagged cut, if you had a couple too many beers or so, you could cover this over with these trim pieces and actually have a professional installation that looks just like marble or tile. The second bit I want to talk to you about is that wall panels need to be all one piece or a one piece system. The people who perpetuate that myth are the people in the acrylic business, and I'm going to tell you why and show you why. So let's walk over to the next room, and I'm going to share with you a system most people in this country haven't seen. It's called a laminate shower wall and tub wall panel system. These panels are actually two foot by eight foot by three eighths of an inch that they're, they're way cool. They're made in Norway. It's a very cool European system. And so when you look at this, it looks like a bunch of tiles, but it, it is not a bunch of tiles. What it is, there's a wall panel that's actually two foot by eight foot by three eighths of an inch thick. Now this is a small version of it, laminate on the outside, marine grade plywood here, and vapor barrier in the back. What happens is these panels go up onto an OSB. Imagine this is two foot by eight foot, and they're screwed to the OSB. And then the sealant goes right on the edge of this mating panel. When these two come together, it squishes out, and it makes a 100% waterproof installation. With the uh, acrylic manufacturers, there's some of them talk about one-piece system where they bend those walls. But the reality is they've got trim pieces all along the edges, and it doesn't look very realistic. It looks pretty fake. As a matter of fact, this one, you actually have a brow joint right in there. So those are the first two myths. We're going to go on to the third myth that you definitely going to want to see learn more about it. The third myth I want to talk to you about is thick, about thickness mattering. Over here you'll see this is a wall panel that's 5 16th, this one's 3 8 this is 3 8 this is quarter inch. Yes, is it nice to have a thicker panel like this cultured stone one is? Yes, it is. But in reality, wall panels are either adhered with glue to a wall or they're screwed into a wall and actually thickness is not that big a deal. Now when I go into homes and we talk to customers about wall panel thickness, Invariably, they'll go into their kitchen and they'll pull out a knife and they'll say, hey, can I cut through this thing? And they'll, they'll have the knife and they'll be going on the top of the panel. And every time I do it, I always think, why are they worried about the knife? In most cases, if you got a knife and you're in the shower, it's a bad, bad day. You're probably in the middle of a horror movie, but probably not concerning with wall panels. If they're glued and screwed up there, don't worry about thickness. It's not that big a deal. The fourth myth I want to talk to you about is actually when you go into a home center, a lot of times people will assume that you can only get wall panels for standard size showers or tubs, maybe a 16 shower or a 48 inch shower. However, with many wall panel systems, that is absolutely not the case. This one over here, which is the laminate wall panel system, each of the panels, and this is actually a panel, is 23.6 inches exactly wide. So with this 60 inch one, I usually have a panel and a panel, and then there's going to be a cut at the last panel. So since these are 23.6, even if this back wall was 66 inches wide, I still would only have to use standard size wall panels, but I would have to make a cut on that last one. Now I said I would have to make that cut. It actually probably wouldn't be me because I do have the smoothest hands in the remodeling business, but somebody competent would actually have to make that cut myth that I like to bust in this thing is really that you need specialized tools to do bath and shower wall panels. But for me, I'm not the guy to tell you that. I'm not the one doing this work, but I did get someone who's a real expert. His name is Robbie Clint. So Robbie, tell me what tools, if you were a DIYer, would you use to do these shower tub wall panels? Sure. So starting with uh, just cutting the panel in general, um, we use a track saw which um, is basically just a circular saw that runs on track, really easy for us to use. 
Um, you know, if you're a DIYer at home, you might not have a track saw. Mm -hmm. You can easily use a tr uh, circular saw. Okay. Uh, it just does the same thing. Um, okay. And then another thing that we use are uh, these hole saw bits here, which are just different sizes of uh, bits that we can uh, punch little circles in each of these panels. Sure. Uh, they're very good for the valve. Mm -hmm. We have to roughen the valve and the, uh, the shower head. Excellent. Jigsaw, can you use that too? You can use that. Okay. Um, it's not preferred, but you can okay. absolutely use that. Okay. Um, just get a fine to, uh, tip to blade. Okay. Um, to, to use that to make sure you're not uh, chipping the panel. Or to make that happen. Excellent. So, uh, just to wrap up, uh, I know we shared a bunch of things, about five things nobody tells you about shower and tub wall panels. And please keep that a secret, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. If you want to connect with us, check out our website. Go and call, give us a call. We're kind of lonely, 877-668-5888. Or in the description from here on YouTube, you can just uh, click on uh, a link that will give you free samples as well of some of these the laminate and char wall panels. So thanks so much for joining us, and Robbie for helping us out uh, with the tools we use.